and they're not going to put the plates back after they use the equipment. So irrefutable fact number one is how you do anything is how you do everything. Welcome back to Tom and Sense, everyone. So today what I wanted to talk about was, it was a short by Bedros Koulian where he talked about how how you do anything is how you do everything. Is how you do anything. Is how you do everything. And the reason and the reason for this video is because I haven't heard that in a very long time. And I wanted to share to my audience um, the kind of reaction that gave me. And I believe, so for my first reaction was, wow, I haven't heard this in a long time. And second, I think everyone needs to hear it. And at the end of the day, this comes back down to personal accountability. Doing the right thing, even when nobody is watching. And that's a very stoic sort of way of looking at it. But that really is what it really comes down to. Could be wrong. If, if I'm wrong, comment down below if you don't think that, that I'm right in this. But I, I believe that this is not happening as much as it should be. The second thought I had was that when I was in the military... And our regimental slogan was, never pass a fault. If you know what regiment that's from, comment down below. But it was a slogan that, again, when I was 19, you know, when I first heard it going through battle school, it was, you know, a catchy little thing that I had to remember. But now that I'm, you know, in my 40s, I realize the strength of that slogan and the power of that slogan. We used to joke around in the military when I was going through that it'd be hard to pass some people, right? Now, when I, if you actually apply that same sort of slogan to your life, just try it. Take inventory and try and go through your day without passing a fault. Bedros talks in that little short video or Bedros talks in his short about the guy at the gym that doesn't re-rack his weights and doesn't clean up the sweat stains and all these things. Now imagine you go to the gym next time, don't pass a fault. So if you see the weights that aren't re-racked, re-rack them, okay? Where it says 25 pounds and somebody's put a, like a 45 or a 10 pound, reverse it, do it, see how that makes you feel. And you know what? This is all adding and benefiting everybody else because for the next person going after you, they'll be like, oh, okay, the weights are where they're supposed to be. And now it's not a very difficult thing. It's not very hard, but it's easy to do and it's easy not to do. I just wanted to give a little bit of context and my reaction to Bedros Koulian. And so if you guys aren't following Bedros on YouTube and on podcasts and all those things on the other platforms he's on do it subscribe to him he's a great resource uh, especially for men i started listening to bedros a, a long time ago and i've been a huge fan he's an immigrant like myself so i i guess kind of i, I like hearing from somebody else that's an immigrant as well thank you for liking thank you for subscribing and if you found some value, please share this with somebody that needs to hear it. Tom and Sense has reached over a thousand subscribers. So that's awesome. But now we need the watch hours to keep going up. So if you guys can, hit the playlist, watch it, and make sure you comment. I haven't been seeing too many comments on my videos. I want to know if I'm going in the right direction. I want some I need some communication from you guys. So help me help you kind of situation. But again, I thank you for liking and I do thank you for subscribing. And let's get to 2,000 subscribers and let's get those watch hours. Common sense. Because common sense isn't so common.